Hello, my innovators, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, good news, sunny and childlike for the aquas. That's because the emotional tuning planet, the moon, has now moved into Gemini. That does two things for you. On the one hand, it puts emotion into the speculative. Air signs don't like heavy emotion. I've learned that. You guys kind of run from heavy drama. It's overwhelming to you. You'd rather sit back and think about it. So when the moon moves into an air sign, I find we all kind of detach a bit. And when the moon moves into Gemini, of course, it's about communicating and clarifying how we feel. Now, the second part of this is that when you're in Aquarius, a Gemini moon will bring emotion or kind of stimulate your inner child. That's why I say sunny and childlike. This is the part of you that is creative, that is romantic, that expresses your soul. I call it the soul contract. It's really what we signed up to do, what our heart really wants, what our inner child really wants. That's what we signed up to do. So in the next 24 hours, I think they'll do a lot of processing today about your heart and where you're going. Mercury is now moving into the sector of consciousness for personal dreams and creativity, which means you will be putting it out there in the next 30 days. More on that later. Also today, the sun is ruled by Neptune. Now yesterday, it was Lycast Day. It was the day of creativity, creation. We put out a wave. It was a new moon. And today, we follow suit with the next step, which is to tell the universe about it. When the day is ruled by Neptune, it's a day of connecting to our higher self. You want to log in to your soul spirits up there, to your board of spirits is what I call them, and get some downloads, some information, some guidance. What do you do next? Now that you're moving forward with this light casting of a new foundation, what's the next step? We have to ask our guides what that's about. And the next step will be clear, and we'll be making a decision here in the next 24, 48 hours. So today, log in and figure out what's next for you in that regard. One final thing, this inner child issue. It is going to square Saturn today, and Saturn went direct over the weekend. That means the universe is now going to carry Aquarius even deeper. A lot of aquas I've been talking to are kind of, kind of reluctant about this intimacy transit. They don't necessarily want to do it, da 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 Well, guess what? We just clicked in the first gear. So it's very possible that there may be some fears that bubble up between your inner child and intimacy and opening up. And it may even be you surrendering to your own creativity. All right, aqua, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be.